Hey, what's up, everyone? I figured I'd get a chance to share my thoughts on what I thought about the Superman version, the 1978 version, which, of course, was directed by Richard Donner, who would um, later on eventually uh, become known for his work in the four uh, Lethal Weapon movies. And I will say, it's been a very long time since I've seen the uh, Christopher Reeve era of Superman, since I remember from my memory and... You know, if it's still correct, I remember the first two Superman movies were good, but the third and the fourth one, not so good. So I just, you know, usually would consider the, the first two movies canon, almost like my opinion of, you know, the first two Jaws movies that are good, and then three and four are, are pure garbage. But anyway, um, on seeing uh, the movie again after so many years, um, you know, I... It had like really wonderful casting, particularly uh, Marlon Brando as you know Jarrell, the father of Clark Kent, aka Kal of, of Krypton, and of course you have Gene Hackman who plays uh, Lex Luthor, who plays like his own version of Lex Luthor, like a little bit more on the campy side, but also like a, a maniacal villain who wants to like you know enrich himself and sees Superman as a you know as his own enemy, I guess, and. Of course, the late Margot Kidder as Lois Lane. And of course, you know, Chris, how would I discuss Christopher Reeve's performance as Superman and Clark Kent? He does a pretty good job. You know, he, like, he has, like, he shows, like, the nerdy, clumsy side of Clark Kent. And then, of course, you see almost, like, the confident, you know, more bold version of Superman who wants to do the world good and justice and things like that. And of course, many people know the tale that, you know, because of uh, Krypton, you know, facing imminent destruction because of the sun, you know, Jarrell sends, you know, Clark to Earth to live amongst humans and also learn from them and almost be like their protector, you know, and of innocence and things like that. And of course, you know, Clark also learns to blend in, you know, with humans and things like that. And you also see his adopted family, you know, Jonathan and, you know, Martha Ken. And I mean, like I said, well, there are certain aspects of the 78 Superman movie that I don't particularly care for, particularly, you know, certain parts of its over-the-top cheesy humor and, I mean, of course, the effects, but I can't really blame that since they did the best with what they had to work with at the time. But I will say that musical score by John Williams really, you know, is powerful. And, of course, you know, jor you know, speech, which he says, and I know many people know it, it the son becomes the father and the father becomes the son and also one of his other infamous quotes that I like in which he says they're of good people kal they wish to be they only lack the like to see the way to see the way which I think is you know, also a very powerful motivational speech and you know something quite no other actor would be able to pull off of that caliber so um I would definitely say I mean I mean like I said even though it's been a very long time since I've seen the 70 version of Superman it's I mean, not as dark as the later versions, you know, would be. Like I said, the campiness, I don't really care for it too much. But it's good for what it is. I mean, I don't know if it's something I would rewatch over and over again. But, like I said, I'd rather take the first two Christopher movies that he did over the last two. But that's my own opinion. I know many others would probably agree. Alright, everyone. Thanks again for watching.